a party bag. Uh, I'll show you what's inside of it. Hello guys, uh, this will be a review segment, so this will be sort of for a playlist full of reviews of supplements, products and anything else that uh, us uh, strongmen try. Um, so I bought a bunch of stuff off my protein, like I mean a lot of stuff, uh, and including with this stuff I bought the uh, Swizzles uh, limited edition uh, party pack and uh, I bought a box of the layered drumstick bars. Um, so I did a review on each uh, sample I got and each, uh, well, the bars. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, if you're interested in any of these other types of videos or even reaction videos or training footage, that we have playlists in our YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, give us a, a like and uh, ring the bell. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. So we have a bunch of the limited edition flavor uh, samples. So drumstick, Parma Violets, Love Hearts, and Refreshers. We've got another layered drumstick bar that's kind of looks a wee bit squashed, like a drumstick, ironically. Hello, so I'm on my break and work, and I've got these two My Protein Limited Edition products, so I thought I'd give them a quick review. So I have with me the Clear Way Isolate drumstick flavour and the uh, drumstick layered protein bar ironically it's squished like a natural drumstick sometimes you find them pretty mangled so this one's uh pretty squished i'll read you the nutritional information on the way i so it's 1 0.1 gram of fat it's 91 calories 1.2 grams of carbs uh, 0 0.3 of that is sugars, 20 grams of protein and 0 0.02 grams of salt. Uh, it says basically to empty such it into water, shake and then leave for 15 seconds to settle, then enjoy. So I'll pour, pour that in my shake and I'll do a taste test and rate it out of 10. Uh, same with the protein bar, I'll show you the protein bar as well. So I'll read you the macronutrients on this. It's uh, 215 calories, 7.7 uh, .7 grams of fat, uh, 18 grams of carbs, 7.1 grams of fiber, 20 grams of protein and 0 0.96 grams of salt. So I'll just pause this a second while I get the way into the water and I'll open the bar. So like I said before this one's a bit mangled and probably doesn't look as uniform as it usually does though so this is what it kind of looks like. I'll give it a taste test. Um, so it's a wee bit like a drumstick, not overly too much. Um, I guess like a milky raspberry bar, but mm, the aftertaste is a wee bit more like it. But the texture and all is pretty decent. If that will, I don't think it'll. I don't think you'll be able to see it properly. Texture is pretty good. Yeah, pretty decent. Uh, it's better texture than the other bar I tried, the Carb Crusher. Though, uh, pretty decent. Give that a solid 
sort of eight out of ten. Uh, I just prefer I think white chocolate type bars or like sort of not chocolate type ones as much like normal chocolate. So I actually prefer that. That's pretty decent. Uh, I'll grab the whey now. So I have uh, 300 grams of water in here. You can see the whey. Just shake that up. So it's one a pinky color. Uh, I don't know if you can see all the foam there. Uh, though I'll let the foam settle and the water settle. So as you can see, the foam settled. It smells kind of like strawberry. Um, we'll try it. Fussed on that to be honest. Nah, it's got a bit of a, like, a weird aftertaste. Doesn't really taste like a drumstick, but like sugary type. I don't know. Like really cheap sort of juice or something. Uh, I'm not really a massive fan of that. Wouldn't really recommend buying a whole tub of that to be honest. Not really like a drumstick as such. Mm. Nah, that's not really great. Um, hopefully the other samples maybe taste a bit better, though the drumstick one is a real no-go for me. So I'm going to give that a 3 out of 10 maybe, because I'm going to probably have to like chug the rest of it. Though... Yeah, I'm not really a massive fan. The protein bar was a lot better. So I suggest if you're going to buy any of the limitation stuff so far, get the drumstick protein bar. Don't buy the clear way. Um, that's everything for me today, guys. Uh, peace out. Um, this one's the Parma Violet one. So we'll do a taste test and review to see how this clear isolate one is. The drumstick one wasn't very nice. This might be a bit better. I'm not really a massive fan of Parma Violets in general anyways, but might just taste better. Uh, just give me a second to put it into the cup. So this is pretty much the same macronutrients as the drumstick one. Um, I'm assuming this is going to turn purple. It actually smelled pretty nice. Uh, better than the drumstick one to be honest. Meter and I'll just set that for 15 seconds. Mm. It smells a bit like Parma Violets. Let's see how this tastes. That actually tastes better than a drumstick one, to be honest. It's like more. Like a black currenty flavour. Uh, that's actually not too bad. Um, if I was really bored, I might buy, or if I was really like just want something different, I would buy maybe a top of that. Uh, not actually too bad. Uh, give that a sort of 7 out of 10. It's not super sweet either. It's a like a mild taste. It's pretty decent. It has a bit of a weird aftertaste, but no. So it's fairly alright. So the Palmer Violet uh, Clear Way gets a thumbs up from me, I guess. Refreshers Clear Way Isolate. So, as again, the macronutrients are pretty much the same as the other ones. So I'll put this in my shaker, show you the colour, and then I'll do a taste review. This one actually did smell like refreshers, so we'll see what colour it goes and see how it tastes. Mm. 
So it's went yellow. I'll let that settle and then I'll do a test review. Smells like refreshers. Yeah, tastes like refreshers mildly. Not super strong. So far it's probably the best one out of the three that I tried. I've still got Love Hearts one to go, but I'd probably give that a, an 8, probably. Aftertaste isn't too bad. Yeah, that one's pretty decent. Is the Love Hearts way, so I'll pour this into the water now and show you it. I'm not sure what colour it's going to go, but maybe a green. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Like a white didn't change any color at all really but i'll let that settle and i'll tell you how it tastes it smells a bit like love hearts yeah it tastes a bit like love hearts but it's like really weak Probably like one of the easiest ones to drink. I'd give this a 6.5 probably. Or 7 maybe. Not a push. i said it's probably the easiest one and most likely one to drink I guess. It wasn't not too bad. So yeah, um, a quick uh, overview of all the things I tried there. Um, see when I tried the layered drumstick protein bar um, the first one I tried didn't really taste too much like drumstick um, I was a wee bit barred and a bit uh, sort of misshaped uh, though the more I had tried these bars and the more I had ate more of them they actually did start tasting like a drumstick so uh, to be fair they kind of got this one right in the end um, the box of them was a bit more uniform than the actual party bag one I got sent. Um, though for the clear ways, the drumstick flavour clear way was actually horrible. Um, I would not recommend getting that. Um, these are limited edition so there's probably a limited left amount. Though if I was going to buy one of them I wouldn't buy the drumstick one. It just didn't taste nice at all, it didn't taste like a drumstick and it just tasted pretty horrible. I don't know who tried that and tested that to say it tastes like a drumstick, though I feel like they had uh, burnt taste buds. Um, the other three though were the Refreshers, the Love Hearts and the Parma Violets. I'm not a big fan of Parma Violets, though it was pretty decent. Uh, it was like a blackcurrant flavour. Um, I don't think I would buy a top of it to like consistently have it. Um, it was nice as a one-off, though I wouldn't like be on my way to go buy that. Um, though, as you can see from my reaction from trying all these, uh, you can see how they tasted. Uh, obviously, everyone's taste buds are different. Though, for like buying these ones, limited or not, I wouldn't really go and buy a top. I would maybe buy a sample if I was really bored or wanted a different flavor. Um, so if I was ranking these from bottom to top, I'd go drumstick last because it was terrible. Uh, probably Parma Violets. The refreshers one was pretty decent, uh, though I'd say you get sick of that flavour if you're constantly having it. Uh, like I said, it was good as a one-off. Um, though I'd probably rate that one first and maybe Love Hearts under it. Uh, Love Hearts is probably the one you can probably drink the most of, but the flavour wasn't as strong. Um, I'll probably if I was going to buy one at a push I'd maybe buy the refreshers one um, it was probably the best sort of tasting 
uh, I actually did test out refreshers. Um, though I won't, these ones I wouldn't really sell a sip and drink. Um, it'll probably be like a chug type thing where I just like taste it and then drink the rest as quick as I could. Um, for the, my protein products, this one was a bit of a letdown. Um, though the the layered drumstick bars are probably the only one worth buying an actual box of. Though you only got a box of six, uh, usually you get like a box of I think it's twelve in the normal size box of like layered uh, protein bars. So this one's probably the only one I would actually buy again. Um, though yeah, like I was saying, bottom would be drumstick, uh, clear away, then the Palmer Violets, uh, Love Hearts and then Refreshers for the top one. Um, hopefully this sort of sways your decision if you're going to buy any, why they're still there, um, help you sort of decide if you're going to buy it or if it's worth this money. For me, buying a whole top probably wouldn't be worth this money for me. Uh, the, the macronutrients are really good in the clear ways, though the flavours on these ones were below par to be honest. Uh, I give some a 6 and a 7 sort of rating, though it's not something I'd buy consistently or I'd go on my way to buy. Maybe the protein bars, because I don't think they were that bad really. Uh, they were pretty decent, though for a box of 6 they were a bit expensive. Um, though yeah, this is my honest reaction and review to trying these supplements. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and as usual guys, don't forget to hit the like button, to, su to subscribe, to ring the bell and I'll see you guys next time.